place is crawling with demons. Gotta take these guys out, then have a look around. Okay, that's all of them. Oh, high security lock. They use these on banks, not recycling centers. Maybe if I can find where it gets its power from. I could override the circuit. I need my electric webs. Well, that did something. It looks like the circuits need a little more juice. Gotta find a junction box. There. Looks like the circuit's still stable. Maybe there's another junction box close by. Uh-huh. Gotcha. Almost there. One more box should do it. That's it! from Fisk's armory. Truck bombs? This is crazy.
explosives from Fisk's construction site. Lots of high-tech equipment. Maybe later I can recycle this stuff into some weapons of my own. These must be where they're planning to attack. Wait, these are Osborne campaign offices. This wasn't a gang war. The demons were stealing from Fisk to go after Mayor Osborne. Hey, did you find Lee? No, but you were right. Lee's using this place as a front for the demons. Bomb making, gun running. Oh my god. And it looks like they're planning another attack. This time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. We must have some kind of beef with Norman Osborne. I found an address here. I think it's their staging area. If I hurry, I might be able to stop them. Be careful. Yuri, it's me. Make it quick. I'm busy getting yelled at by my boss. Martin Lee and the demons are planning another attack, this time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. Are you sure? We've had a lot of false leads in the past week. Trust me on this one. I'm sending you the address of a recycling center. You'll find all the evidence there. Got it. I'll get those campaign offices evacuated. But if you're wrong about this, you're gonna help me find a new job. Consolidated shipping. A lot of guys. I should try to do this quietly, but also with style. I can use that stuff I found at the recycling center. Nice. Love using bad guys' own weapons against them. And that, my friends, is what karmic justice looks like. Trust me, it's less painful this way. They're so cute when they're incapacitated. Me. 
继续搜查。Why'd you set this one out? We need some downtime. Patrolling, but I do have no. Well, he's not out here. Better check inside. Huh. Invoice from an auto shop. Pale horse rides. That's one expensive tune-up. What else can I find around here? They have bases all around the city. This is bigger than I thought. Looks like the demons have an army. As if one deadly glowing whip wasn't enough. I don't know what I was expecting, but it was definitely not this. The 
found it! I think I stopped the demon's attack on Osborne's campaign office. Nice. No, but I found something we should look into. A place called Pale Horse Rides. Sounds familiar. I'll check it out and get back to you. Off. Well, this is new. No, no, no. This one's mine. All right. I'm executing this son of a... Hey! That's not how we do things. Down! Now! Code SM1. Whoa, whoa! Before we do this, who the hell are you guys? Code SM1. Code SM1. Holding for orders. Copy Code SM1. I have a visual. Hold for Silverbird. Entrance. Solid eight out of ten. Nine out of ten. Release him. He works with us. Yuri, explanation, please. This is Silver Sablanova, head of Sable International. A private security force. Paid for by Mayor Osborne. Oh, the mayor has a pet army now? Next time you get in my way, I will not be so gentle. Go. We'll talk later. Sorry about that Sable thing. I should have told you earlier, but it all happened so fast. It's okay. We're still best buds. We're not best buds. Well, that took a dark turn. Anyway, Sable has the mayor's ear and unchecked authority. We've searched that address you gave me, found plenty of evidence of a bomb plot, but nothing that leads back to Martin Lee. I'm working on this. Hey, MJ. Hey, so I dredged up some records on Martin Lee's other business holdings. He's got places all over the city. Huh. The locations line up with a map I found at that shipping business. I'll check them out. Let me know what you find at each one, and I'll work on building a case. You got it. I'm headed to Lee's office at Feast to see if I can learn more about why he's doing this. And what he's got planned next. Okay. Say hi to May for me. Wait, you don't think she's in danger, do you? No. Lee's only got one target on his mind. Norman Osborne. Peter. So if you're running this place while Mr. Lee's out of town, who's doing your old job? <laughs> Me. But I could always use more help. You know anyone? Actually, I do. His name is Miles Morales. Why does that sound familiar? His father was being honored at City Hall. Oh. I talked to him at the funeral. He's a smart kid. He's just having a tough time. I knew a boy like that once. I remember it helped to uh, stay busy. It might help him too. 
Here's his mom's number. Thanks. I'll give her a call. Hey, you haven't heard from Mr. Lee, have you? No. Why? I'm just curious. I've got a few minutes before work. I'm gonna look around, see if there's anything else I can do to help you out. Oh, you, you don't have to. I know. I want to. I should check out Lee's office. Need help with those veggies? I learned a long time ago, you're more help staying out of the kitchen than in it. Pete, glad to see you're okay. Hanging in there. May said you hmm. this office is locked. How do I get in there? Thanks, I appreciate it. seen that room before. Whoa, what the... High voltage lines. What needs this much power? I understand, but the account number is in Mr. Lee's office, which is inaccessible. I will call you back as soon as I can get that information. No, I don't know when that will be. That room I saw from the crawl space. It should be right on the other side of the shrine. Lee's parents. Looks like there's a keyhole in the frame. I thought Lee's parents abandoned him. Why well, build a shrine to the people who threw you away? Lee's journal. Bet this fits the lock in the portrait. Huh. The shrine in the photo is missing the picture. Hmm. Some kind of puzzle lock. That seems right. Oh, I see. What are you hiding, Lee? Lee sure is obsessed with masks. Is it a Jungian thing? Like, he needed to pretend to be... He's giving his powers to the others. How does Lee imbue these with his power? Bioelectric induction? Compressed phase shift? Can feel my power growing. Feeding off my anger. Father would say I've lost the path of balance that he could never understand. The only way to fight a monster is to become one. This might help us figure out what Lee's planning next. It's a burn room, wired to destroy evidence. One more.
Elise had found this. Or May. Don't want to think of what could have happened. Now, how do I get out of here? Hello, Peter. Mr. Lee. I thought you were out of town. Did you find what you were looking for? Martin, you're back. You get that. Thank you. And heading off again shortly, I'm afraid. Just needed a few things from my office. You must have heard about City Hall. Yes. Tragic. Peter was there. He was very lucky. And an Osborne rally. I didn't know you were a fan. Well, what matters is, you are both safe. Amen. But the bombers are still out there. Who knows what they've planned next? Oh, I don't think you or May have anything to worry about. As long as you stay away from places you're not supposed to be. Well, I should go. When will you be back? When my work is done. Wait, wait, wait! I finally got your evidence. Head to the Feast Center in Chinatown. What am I going to find? A nice lady named May Parker. And some really weird stuff hidden in Lee's office. But listen, he's got another attack planned. Where? When? Still working on that, but I think he's going to use something called Devil's Breath. Sounds destructive. What is it? A substance created by Oscorp. Probably a bioweapon of some kind. I have a folder full of info on it. I'm holding on to it for now. I'll send copies as soon as I can. Okay, we'll check his office. If the evidence stands up, I'll put out an APB. MJ, hey. Just checking in. Peter, hey. Can I call you back? I think you'll want to hear this. Wait, why are you whispering? Just in the middle of something. How about we catch up over dinner? My place? Oh, sure. I'll even cook. Cool. See ya. Wait. Remember how you told me about Lee's corrupting touch? I think I just saw it in action. How? Some perfectly nice homeless people just jumped me. Thing is, they had glowing eyes. And I remembered Yuri telling me something similar about the guard who released Shocker. So Shocker was working for Lee? Uh, it's all connected. There's more. But I guess we'll talk about it at dinner. Yeah, see ya. Dinner? <sighs> what should I cook? Oh, hi, Doctor. How are you? Parker! Exciting news. Come by the lab. Uh, like, now? This is my divining moment. Can't wait to show you. Cool. Um, I've got dinner plans. Can I come by later? Dinner can wait. You need to see this, Peter. Uh, okay. See you right there. I wonder if this means I have a job again. I guess I can stop by just for a minute. another call from Doc. Peter, I wanted to make sure you're still available. I can't pay you yet, but I've pulled enough strings to keep the wolves from the door a bit longer. If we can get up and running, 
I know this new version of the project will attract investment. Massive investment. Stay ready. Fingers triple crossed, Doc. Hey, Doctor. Hello, Peter. I'll be just a minute. Wow. Look at all this new stuff. We really need to get... Where did you get all this equipment? Called in every last favor. Took out a few loans. It's like we're starting over once again. But this time's going to be different. Our first volunteer subject. Lance Corporal Texador. Lost his arm overseas, and now just wants to hug his daughter again. You've been busy. Just getting started. You know, until now, we've been looking at prosthetics from the wrong perspective. Why restore people to what they were, when we can make them better? Okay, I think that should do it. Ready? <laughs> Everything okay? This is all your fault, Norman, you son of a... Well, I know who you're not voting for in the next election. Sorry. I uh, have a habit of making bad jokes in tense situations. <laughs> uh, it was a good joke, Parker. Just a bit of an overreaction on my part. No, don't worry. Uh, why don't you take a break? I'll, uh, I'll clean this up and uh, get us ready for another test. So, uh, hope you don't mind me asking, but it seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. We were lab partners in college. Became friends. Decided to start a business. We both had visions of changing the world just in different ways. Wait, you were at Oscorp when it started? I'm half the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone called us the O's. <sighs> Add Corp to that and, well, it is a catchy name. Well, why'd you leave? Norman became more and more obsessed with genetics. He started a project I considered unethical. And there was this Anyway, lawyers got involved. I chose to leave in exchange for a settlement. But that money didn't last very long. I've relied on grants ever since. If this project doesn't work... Don't worry. It'll work. Uh, let, me, let me just fix this up. I'll brew some fresh coffee. Be sure to run a diagnostic on the control unit. Could be a short.
Oh, why don't you do the honors this time? We did it. Next step, neural interface. That's a lot of work for you to do by yourself. You sure you can handle it? Apparently not, judging by today's debacle. Because I still haven't found another job. My funds are still... I know. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. What's a few bucks when you're trying to change the world, right? To changing the world. MJ. Doctor, I need to go, but I'll be back later. Don't worry, the work will still be here when you get back. What's that? Hey, sorry I missed your call. We still on for dinner? Dinner? Oh, yeah. I was calling you about something else, but yeah, we should talk over dinner. The offer still stands for me to come over and cook. Oh, really? Well, I like to take risks. I'm still out, but I'll grab some stuff at the store and let you know when I'm home. Okay, talk soon. All right, dinner at MJ's. Low expectations. It'll be hard to screw this one up. Guess I'll just freelance for a while until she calls. You're not gonna believe what happened. So you know that address you gave me? I went there. Uh, MJ. I know, I know, but wait. What is this? Just listen. This is the address Pete found. Men are all carrying firearms. What is this place? That office. Might be something inside that connects this to Lee. Need to get back there. Huh? What was that? What dumbass can't put their shit away? Bet it was happy. Almost shot a rat. Martin Lee's really paying the boss? Yeah. We build this war beast for Lee. Lee finances the boss's new venture. We need to get into that office. Well, you better clean your slag off that sloppy well. Boss sees that. What are they building? Is this all for Lee? Careful. Hey. Nothing. Maybe it was a rat. The hell was that? Yo! Yo! Watch my back! Grave dust must have me on edge. Boss will rip us a new one if anything happens. Let's move! was that? Hey, what was that? Grave dust must have me on edge. Hey, I heard 
something. Damn, up here paranoid. Everything will be Easy does it. What kind of vehicle needs tires this big? Where is it? I swear I left it over here. Yo, has anyone seen the 316 socket driver? Hey, when do we get a new recent saw? Hey, anyone pick up more beer after our last what is run? This? Some kind of military hardware? Office must be to my right. Need to move careful through here. Yo, man. Why's the boss being so intense about putting GPS trackers on everything? Protecting trade secrets. Doesn't want any word on grave dust leaking out. Still. Feels paranoid. Who asked you? Get back to work. Those barrels seem important. Alchemax. <sighs> What's in these? Boss, come on. We'll never notice. <laughs> You're right, Rick. Won't notice? Cause it won't be there. God damn it! I said I'll fix it! You got some stones, Rick. <laughs> Let's see if they break. A disappointment. <laughs> and now I need a new welder. This is what they're building for Lee. But why does he need an armored vehicle? There must be something up. Here we go. GPS trackers. What is Tombstone using these for? All right, boys. Time to move. Get the gear for my office. Time to go. Okay, I want to say don't ever do that again, but since I know you're going to anyway, here. Take a few of those next time. Nice. Thanks. You know Tombstone is crazy and pretty much invincible, right? Everybody has their weakness. Mine is... whatever you're cooking right now. <laughs> it smells amazing. The chicken curry. Uh, just needs some time to simmer. No dumplings, I hope. You're never gonna let me live that one down, are you? Nope. <laughs> the Great Dumpling Catastrophe. I still can't believe they evacuated the entire building. I know, and in January, too. <laughs> Your neighbors hated me. Yeah, they were pretty happy when we broke up. <laughs> yeah. 
So, let's talk about what you found in Lee's office. Well, Lee clearly has issues with Norman Osborn. Yeah, but, but why? I don't know yet. But his next move looks like it involves devil's breath, whatever that is. Yeah, I'll dig into it. So I was thinking, what if we teamed up? What, what, you want to be my sidekick? Like a spider girl? Spider woman? No. Woman. No, not a sidekick. A partner. Oh. Not again. Hey, it's your crime system thingy. Looks like a residential break-in. Charles Standish. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Oh, Oscorp CFO. Wait. You don't think this has anything to do with Lee, do you? Sorry to cook and run. Did... Did you just leave your clothes on the kitchen floor? Uh... Where do you want me to, uh... Just a couch is fine. <laughs> See you later? Yeah. <laughs> 